It's the Mike Caldas Show. It is time for us to give some stuff away. Carmen, what do we have to give away today? Yeah, so we have tickets for ZZ Top at the Strawberry Festival, Oliver Anthony at the Strawberry Festival, Monster Jam, WWE Royal Rumble, Elvis Costello, and your favorite, Michael, Pat McGann. <laughs> Has anyone asked for the Pat McGann thing? I yes, actually they did. Really? On, yeah, Monday. It was Sparkles Pat. winner wanted. Oh, no. <laughs> I am I am just shocked that there is a comedian <laughs> that is playing a theater that we don't know. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm not saying he's good or bad. I I, I don't. Have know. Have you ever seen it, his co- comedy? No, but I know he's produced by Sebastian Maniscalco, so it should be pretty good for Sebastian to think, hey, this guy is going to be something, you know? Yeah. But I just find it odd that we. Uh, who are doing so many things with comedians don't know Mr. McGann's work. Gal, are you a fan of Mr. McGann? Uh, I like Pat McGroin. Oh yeah, but I, I don't like know Pat McGann. McGann. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I I just pulled him up on Instagram. I've never seen this guy before in my life. No, and no? it's not. That doesn't mean he's yeah, not good. Correct. He's probably just regional somewhere. And this there's is a lot rollout. of comedians, right? Well, good luck to Mr. McGann. And if you'd like to go see him, you have an opportunity right now to win with a little bit of sport. Here we go. <laughs> Carmen is the keeper of Sporkle. Pap Pap is your judge, scorekeeper, and all-around great guy. And I believe yesterday, uh, Geo won yesterday. Is that correct? That's yeah. Correct. That's weird. All right, Carmen, what are we playing today? Okay, today we're going to play Missing Middle Names. Can you name the missing middle names from these famous people? Okay. Interesting. Yes. I remember, and- Carmen, we played this before, but back when John was here. Well, we probably played a version of right, this. Right, right, right. Because Sporkle re- Done. No, no, I know, but but yeah. uh, I'm not going to say afterwards, but there is one that we all were like, oh, I thought his name was something else. Okay. You learn a little bit from sport. We'll see if it's on here. Right. And I'm going to tell you this, because Dion yeah, will complain yeah. about it. Yeah, it's me. Yeah. It is, because it is middle name, but there is one that is a hyphenated last name. Oh, I'm not going to tell you where it is, okay. but I'm just going to tell you there is one in there. Okay? Ready. You okay with that, Gio? I'll allow it. Okay. All right. All right. Missing middle names. Here we go. June Cash. Carter. Mike. Apollo Ono. Anton. Mike. Hillary Clinton. Rodham. Galvin. Gilbert Godfrey said, you die and you rot him. <laughs> James Cooper. Oh. Kind of more. Kind of more. Mike. Helena Carter. Bottom. Spanish. Alexander Graham. Bell. Mike. Laura Wilder. Jingles. Jean. Laura Jingles. <laughs> you get nothing. <laughs> Mike gets the point. Anthony Hall. Michael. Michael. Mike. Sandra O'Connor. Okay. Mike. And Pat Pat. We are having. There. He does remember we played this before. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Somebody's got the answer. That one hasn't come up yet, the one I remember. Gio is not on the board. Spanish and Galvin are both tied with one. And Michael is your leader right now. He's winning with seven. Mm. All right. Your next one, John Astor. Quincy Carter. Oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No. John, John who? John Blank Astor. Michael. Quentin. Jacob. John uh, Jacob Astor. Jackie Onassis. Kennedy. Day. Damn it. Kennedy Galvin. Catherine Jones. Zeta. Zeta. Um, I don't think Spanish pronounced it correctly. No, it doesn't matter. You okay. Right. Yeah, we, right. we make the rules as we go. Uh, Spanish gets the point. It's on the paper. Yeah, Z E T A. It's okay. Say what you want. <laughs> Spanish is the point. Uh, James Jones. Earl. Earl. Geo. Johan Bach. Sebastian. Spanish? No, that was Galvin. Galvin, yeah. Galvin gets the point. Okay, <gasps> sorry. John Adams. Quincy. Quincy. Galvin. Ralph Emerson. Waldo. Mike. Oh, I almost said mouth. Oliver Holmes. Wendell. Mike. (laughs) Evan Wood. Rachel. Rachel. Mike and Pat Pat. We're on the last three. Gio is on the board. He has a single solitary point. Spanish doubling that with two. 
Galvin doubling that with four, and Michael is your leader right now. He's winning with ten. Oh my God! It's Girl Scout cookie time. Oh, Mama! Don't do it! Don't do it! Stay <laughs> focused. All right, middle names, last three. Here we go. Mary Moore. Tyler. 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 Spanish. Lisa Presley. Marie. I don't Gio. know. Gio. Gio. And your last one, Stevie Vaughn. Ray. Ray. Galvin. That, that was, that was Gio. Gio. <laughs> Which one was hyphenated? Jada Jones. But yeah. do you do you realize they're they're all last names? They're, none of those are middle names. Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Well, no, what? John Quincy no, Adams yeah. is a middle name. Most of them were were hyphenated last names. Yeah. Your final score: Geo and Spanish, <laughs> both with three. Doesn't care yeah. that we're talking. Yeah. Yeah. Just comes right and go ahead, Joe. I'm sorry. The worst. <laughs> okay. I, I, all right. Yes, even, I know I'm the worst. Even you're when okay. you don't mess it up, you mess it up. All right. Well, that's what I'm here for. Thank you. Galvin beating those two idiots with four, and Michael is your triumphant champion. He won with ten. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> By the way, every time I hear Catherine Zeta Jones, uh, I think of Bill Murray from the uh, SNL 40th, I think, anniversary, whatever, and he comes out there and he was doing his lounge singer thing. I know exactly. Oh, and he straight. goes, Catherine Zeta, Zeta, Zeta. <laughs> Is it, is it Catherine? Yeah, yeah. He goes, how do you pronounce it? Is it Catherine? <laughs> That's great. Uh, uh, all right. Well, congratulations to me. Congratulations. I Michael. will play for line five. Good morning. Who is this? Good morning. This is Matt. Hi, Matt. You are today's winner by default. The Pat McGann tickets, if you choose to take them, are yours. <laughs> I'll put you on hold, and Carmen will tell you what you have to choose from. Okay, buddy? I right, appreciate it, guys. Thank, thank you. Thank you, man. Thanks for listening. Um, the original one that I was talking about was Franklin what roosevelt delano that was correct yeah that we learned from playing that because i we all said delanor yeah and we all got it wrong mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. did not come up today it no, was not on this God. one this was a new one this is a re a reboot if yes. you will because i stay whenever i go out to vegas a lot of times i stay at the delano yeah. which is a mandalay bay property and i would always say is it delano is it delano and then they the one of the uh, cab drivers said it's uh Delano, like Roosevelt. Yeah. Isn't it weird how you can go to a re... I went to a casino one time in Vegas, and I went to the front desk, and I was talking to him. I go, what was this? What was this before? I can't remember. It looks nothing like it looked before, and I can't remember what it is. Yeah. You know what I used to love out in Vegas was the Monte Carlo. I loved the Monte, Monte Carlo. Monte Carlo was great. Oh, yeah. What is it they, now? Uh, now it's... Uh... Monte Carlo was garbage. They they uh, I had a trip booked to Biloxi, and a hurricane ruined it. And they said, you can reschedule this for next year or whenever, or we could send you out to Vegas and you could stay at our sister property, the Monte Carlo. And we were like, mm, Monte Carlo. And they go, it's all been redone. And we went, uh, we went there. It was beautiful. Wow. It was great. Uh, it's Park MGM now. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Which is also still nice. Yeah, no, it's very nice. Yeah. But uh, the best, one of the best things about the Monte Carlo is they had El Diablo's, which yeah. was that Mexican restaurant that oh. faced the uh, strip out there. Yep. Yeah, it was, it was great. I loved it. And they moved it. They have El Diablo's in one of their other properties. Remember, we all ate there. Yeah, uh, it, was and it was it was good, but it wasn't as good as it was. Really? Yeah, yeah. It used to be really, really good, and the view and everything because yeah. you saw all the weirdos walking by. And everything. <laughs> That's the best thing sitting there just watching people. Yeah, yeah. I I see so much porn that people film on the strip that not like actual sex stuff, but things that they're doing and walking around with a boob out or something yeah. right there on the strip i never see any of that stuff yeah, <laughs> yeah. looking for it all the time are you though that's uh, the thing you have to pay attention to it you know you I have to did. be really actually yeah. looking for it i did see a guy with his wiener out one time <laughs> hey, Vegas, but in, in land of lakes amanda and i were at a at the 7-eleven and we pulled up in the car and we were doing something in the car before i got out to run in and a guy walked by, and he was wearing jeans, and he had his jeans cut from his leg all the way down on the inside, and his wiener was hanging out, and he was doing it on purpose. And he would walk by, and I go, "Hey, his wiener's hanging uh, out." And I made my wife look, and she's like, "Oh my god, I good move!" I'm, I'm not going to that Seven Eleven. I, that. I always think of uh, when I'm in the casino. I think that I should find money on the floor more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean, because people are dealing with so much money or chips or something like that, but they have the cleaning crew all the time. And there's so many people and everything. They probably have like a ventilation uh, <laughs> yeah. system. Like when they do when it's wet, and it sucks it out of a field. <laughs> yeah. They just, you drop change and go <laughs> right down underneath. <laughs> but like in the uh, nightclub, if you go to where the bartender is serving the drinks right there in the well, 
if you will look around that area, because that's where people are taking their money out, you'll find money all the time. Really? And in the trash cans and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, not that you're going through the club oh, yeah, looking through the trash can. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> but if you pay attention and you look down on the ground more, I remember one of the doormen who would find money all the time. One of the other guys was like, how do you always find money? He goes, all you have to do is look down and point it down. There was like 50 bucks laying there and he picked it up. And the guy was like, that's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, they, they make those carpets so you don't look down. Yeah. So yeah. it's hard to pay attention. All right, uh, Galvin, what do we have coming up in news? Coming up in news today, we have Backtrack. Same as it ever was. We just let it go. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Galvin, as your news, we will do that next. Uh, we got a brand new open letter coming up at 8 o'clock. Brad Meltzer at 830. And a possible chance for you to win tickets to see the Bucks and the Eagles on Monday Night Football for the playoffs coming up this week, maybe even today on the show. It's the Mike Calta Show. This is 1025 The Bone.